Good day YouTube, welcome to MathGoodServe.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over a popular social media math problem known as the McDonald's math problem. So let's start by reading this problem. The problem is presented to us in a pictorial format. Uh, drink plus drink plus drink equals 30. A drink plus a burger plus a burger equals 20. A burger plus two fries plus two fries equals nine. And then a burger plus a fry times a drink equals what? So we have to figure out what the resulting number is in the fourth um, equation. Now this problem is a good review for setting up and solving systems of equations. It's also a good review on order of operations, executing that um, Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is a good acronym that most um, individuals use to um, evaluate um, order of operation expressions. So what we're going to do first is translate this pictorial problem into an algebraic system of equations and then we'll go ahead and solve it. All right. So when you're solving um, a system of equations presented in either pictorial or text format, the first thing you want to do before generating your equations is declaring your variables. That's a good practice because it helps you and your reader understand what each variable represents. So let's go ahead and do that. We have only four unknowns here. Um, sorry, three unknowns, and we're going to represent them with their appropriate um, variables. So let D be drinks, be a drink. Let D represent a burger. And then F, let that be fries. Okay, so let's go ahead and translate this into um, a system of equations. So to help us stay organized, let's enumerate each equation. This is equation one. This is equation two. Uh, this is equation three. And uh, this right here is equation four. Okay, let's start with equation one. Can you see what equation one can is going to be using this variable here d? We have drink plus drink plus drink equals 30 so we're going to write it as d plus d plus d equals 30. All right let's go uh, take a look at a second equation in our system. We have a drink plus a burger plus a burger equals 20. We have d plus uh, B plus B equals 20. All right. And then the next one, equation three, we have a burger and two fries plus two fries equals nine. So we're going to write this as a burger plus two fries can simply be written as 2F plus two fries, 2F equals nine. And then the fourth one is. We have, um, this is not a complete equation, okay? Uh, we have a burger, B, plus a fry, F, times a drink, D, equals what? You can think about this as a function, okay, uh, that takes in three variables, burger, fries, and drinks, and returns what you get when you evaluate the burger plus the fries times the drink. Whereas these three, these are equations. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and separate them, is we're going to use the first three system of equations to determine what the three variables are. And then we'll substitute that into the fourth equation or function to determine what its value is. All righty. So this system of equations might look complicated, but when you simplify it, it's not as uh, complicated as, as it seems, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, simplify them real quick. So the first one can be simplified into D plus D plus D is 3D equals 30, okay? And then the second one can be simplified into D plus 2B equals 20. The third one can be simplified into uh, B plus 4F, 2F plus 2F. You just add the coefficients, okay? 2F plus 2F 
and square f that equals 9. All right, so let's bring down our system of equations here. 3d equals 30, and um, d plus 2b equals 20, and um, b plus 4f equals 9. Okay, now whenever you're solving a system of equations, you want to be as organized as possible so you do not get lost in your own work. Now, when can you solve an equation? If you have one equation, you can have a maximum number of one unknown, or else you have an infinite number of solutions. Okay? So, since we do not know any of our variables, we, all of them are unknowns, the only equation that can help us find out what a variable is, one unknown, is the equation that has only one unknown. The more solutions that we have, then the more equations we can solve because our number of unknowns are reducing. So take a look at these three equations we have right here. One, two, and three. Which one has only one unknown? It's equation number one, okay? It's such an easy equation that just by mere inspection, you can solve it, all right? So we don't want to do that. Let's all the mathematical procedure, okay? So from one, we have, what do we have? We have the equation 3D equals 30. So if you triple something and get 30, what is that thing that you tripled? It's 10, right? But let's solve it algebraically. So we divide both sides by three. And then our result is going to be D equals 10. So we have one unknown um, uh, determined now, okay? So D is equal to 10. So any equation that has D, we do not want to view D as a variable anymore since we already know what the answer is. So let's take a look at an equation that has one other variable and D. That equation will have only one unknown because D is known. So Forgetting about equation one, equation one has already done its work. Which other equation has another variable in combination with D? And that's equation two, okay? So since we know D, equation two is gonna have only one unknown, namely B, all right? So our goal is to find B. So <clears throat> to find B, we're gonna direct our attention to equation two. To find B, we use um, equation uh, 2, okay? So <clears throat> to find B, we use 2, and that gives us D plus 2B equals 20, all right? So we're going to substitute 10 for D in this equation. So if we plug in 10 here, we have 10 plus 2B equals 20. Okay, so let's put a side note here. Substitute uh, 10 for D in 2. What's our goal again? Our goal is to end up with only one unknown. And how many unknowns do we have here? Exactly one. That's perfect. So now let's go ahead and solve for B. For our algebraic procedures, we just subtract 10 for both sides and divide by 2. And that will give us um, our, our value of B, um, which is going to be uh, 5. So let's go ahead and do it. So we subtract 10 from both sides. When we subtract 10 from both sides of our equation, that gives us uh, 2B equals 10. And then we'll divide both sides by uh, 2. And our final answer, B, is going to be 5. Excellent. Now we have two unknowns. I mean, we, have, we now have two of our unknowns are not known, so it's going to be really easy for us to figure out the last unknown because we have only three variables in this system of equations, and um, we have two down. So the third equation is going to be a combination of a maximum of three. So if we have two, we're going to have just one unknown. 
okay? But equation three has just two variables, which is perfect. If it had three, it will still be no problem. So directing our, equa our attention to equation three, we can determine what F is, F representing the numerical value for fries. Okay, so let's go ahead and determine what, um, uh, let's see, to determine what F is, so let's write it down. To find F, to find F, what are we going to use? To find F, we use uh, equation 3, of course, and then we have B plus 4F equals 9. So what we're going to do is carry out a substitution so we have exactly one unknown in this equation right here. Okay, remember the rule of thumb, one equation, one unknown, or else it's going to be, um, you're going to have infinite number of solutions. So what are we going to do? We're going to substitute the value of B, which is 5, substitute 5 for B in equation 3 that we just uh, re um, copied over here. Okay, so we're going to have 3, <clears throat> B is 5, so we have 5 plus 4F equals 9. So what we're going to do now is simply um, subtract 5 from both sides, divide by 4, that will give us our F value. Okay, so subtract 5 from both sides, that yields 4F equals 4. Then we divide both sides by 4. And we have our final answer, F is equal to 1. Okay, so let's organize our, our results. Um, D, the drink represents the numerical value 10. B represents the numerical value 5. And F represents the numerical value of 1. Okay, now let's go to equation 4. Equation 4 is kind of like a function, as I indicated earlier, is a function in three variables. So if I want to write it as a function of... Um, burgers, uh, fries, and drink, what this function does is as follows. <clears throat> the function adds the numerical value of a burger to the product of the numerical value of fries and drink. That's what this function does. Okay, so what we're going to do is plug in these values into this function and see what the result is going to be. Okay, so uh, what is f of um, b is 5, f is 1, d is 10? What is that going to be? It's going to be um, 5 plus 1 times 10. All right? So now you have to use your order of operations. Don't get tempted to... Um, Simplify this expression by going from left to right. There's a hierarchy in carrying out um, operations. Okay, so what is that? Please excuse my dear aunt. Oh, wait, I didn't write it correctly. Let's write it again. So it's please excuse <clears throat> my dear aunt Sally. Okay, so what this tells you is that you do... Um, the parenthesis first, exponents next, multiply and divide are in the same hierarchy. You do this from left to right. Okay, you do all your multiplication and divisions from left to right. And then the last thing you will do is adding and subtracting from left to right. So if you look at this um, expression we have here, we have addition and multiplication. Which one is higher? Multiplication is higher than addition. So that means we will multiply first before we add, okay? So let's do that. We're going to have 5 plus what is 1 times 10. 1 times 10 is 10, all right? And then 5 plus 10 is 15. So that is the answer to the popular McDonald's math problem, okay? So that unknown value right there is equal to 15. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you have any comments or questions about um, the contents we just went over, just place your questions in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to 
um, respond. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of systems of equations or order of operations, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Do subscribe to our channel for updates to um, math tutorials that we constantly update to our YouTube page. All the great content can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.